Hello there. In this video, we will learn about the AirMeet Meetup format from the attendees' point of view. Let's get started. First, go to your inbox and find the event invitation link that is sent by the event organizer. Click on the link and you will be led to the event landing page. On the landing page, you will see the event banner that will contain the information of the event. Out here, you will see the logo of the organization hosting the event, the name of the event, and who is hosting this event. You will also see how long this event will last by looking at the stage, right? You can see that from here as well, the start time and end time. You can also see the event status, if the event has started or has ended or is in the pause state. You can click on this enter button to enter the event. But before we do that, we will learn more about this landing page. Out here, you will also see the option to share this event to your LinkedIn, Twitter or Facebook profile. You can also click on this copy link and share this event link with your friends. If you scroll down here, you will see the agenda of the event. First is the overview which shows the overall overview of the event. From there, you will see the event description, the event sponsor. You can also see the event sessions, right? You can select them by dates. And under this, you can see the host and speaker of the event. You can also click on add to calendar to add this session to your calendar. Same with the other sessions, right? You will see the speaker and their information, host and the host information. Now, if you have any questions during the event and want to connect with the organizers directly, then simply scroll down at the bottom and find the organizer's email address here. Once you are ready, click on enter event to enter this event and plug in your credentials to join the event. Once done with the event registration, now fill up your registration details and click on enter button to enter the event. And now you will be landing inside the event in the social lounge. In the social lounge, you can click on join button to join any tables. And from there, you can also select the different formats of the table. Once there are more people on the table, you can also enable or disable your camera and mic. You can also share your screen once there are more people on the table. You can click on this two line icon if you either want to reset up your camera or mic or you want to change your virtual background. Simply click on it and from here click on this icon to select different cameras if you have multiple cameras. And if you want to change your virtual background, you can simply select one of those backgrounds. Use this blur option to blur your background. Or if you want to add your own background, you can click on this icon and upload your own background image and use it. Or if you want to remove background, you can simply click on here. Now if you want to set up your microphone, simply click on here and change your input mic from here. You can also test your mic by clicking on this button. You can also click on speaker and test out your speakers. Once done, click on save. Now if you want to invite people to your table, what you can do is simply click on this invite other icon and you will have two options to either invite particular individuals to your table or to have a public invitation. In case of the invite individuals, you can simply select the participants of the event and click on send invite to send them an invitation to your table. They will get an option to either join or decline your request. If you want to send out the public invitation, you can simply click on here and click on publish invite. A public invitation will be sent out here in the chat section. People can simply click on join button to join your table. You can click on this chat icon to chat with others inside this table. You can also see the table participants by clicking on this table participants icon and seeing who all are there. If you want to invite more people, simply click on invite more people and invite them from here. Now if you want to minimize this table, simply click on this minimize icon and it will be minimized at the bottom left. You can also mute or unmute your camera and mic from here. If you want to maximize it, simply click on this icon and you will be maximized here. If you want to go full screen, you can simply click on this full screen icon. And now if you want to leave this table, simply click on this cross icon. If the event organizer has enabled the discussion tables, you will be able to see this out here. You can simply click on create a new table button to create a new discussion table. Give your table a name. You can also upload the table image. You can also set up the number of seats for this table. You can simply click on this minus icon to decrease the number of seats or click on plus icon to increase the number of seats. The minimum number of seats that you can have is 1 and the maximum number of seats that you can have in each table is 15. But in the settings, you can only have 8. And also, if you see the settings here, you will see there are two options, fixed and expanding. Let's say you have three seats in this table and you have kept this table in the fixed state. Once there are three people on the table, nobody will be able to join your table. But if you have kept the settings as expanding, then once there are three people on the table, once it will be automatically added until the maximum table capacity is filled, that is 15. Once done, you can click on save 
and a table will be created here. As the creator of this table, you will also have an option to edit or delete this table. Simply click on this three dot icon and click on edit to edit and click on delete button to delete. And once you, the creator of the table, wants to leave this uh, table, simply click on this cross icon and the table will be deleted as well. Now in this social lounge, you will see the name of the event. You can click on view schedule to see the different sessions of the event. You can select them by dates or by their tags. You can also search the session by their names or by their status. If the event organizer has enabled the session replay, you will be able to see this icon. You will be able to re-watch the completed sessions by clicking on this watch replay button. For the sessions, you will also see who the host of the session is and the speaker of the session is. And all the session details if added. Here you will see the promotional banner added by the event organizer. Now coming on to the right hand section, if you click on this people icon, you will see all the people who are available in this event. You can also view them in different views. From here, you will also be able to send a direct message to the people on the event by clicking on send message button and sending your message. You will be able to send message in any view. Now coming on to the messages section, here you will see all the direct messages that you have sent or have got from the other people. Now here in this alert section, you will see all the announcements sent out by the event organizer. You will also have a choice to enable or disable the notification sounds. Now if you click on your name, you will be able to click on my profile and edit your profile information by clicking on complete profile. From here, you can add all your profile information, right? Such as introduction, interest. If you want to add interest, simply click on this section, right? And select the type of interest that you are interested in, right? You can select up to five interests and once done, click on done and it will be shown out here. Now you can also add your social media accounts on your profile. Simply select the type of social media that you want to add and it will be shown out here in such a way. Or you can even add the links for all of them. You can also upload your profile picture and once done, click on save button to save your profile. Now if you click on this profile section only, you will see this language section. If you click on it, you will be able to change the text of this event into the language of your choice. Let's say I want to change this into Korean. I will select Korean and click on save. And the important text of the event will be changed into Korean. This change will only reflect for you who has enabled these changes. But if you want to go back and change the language, you can simply go back to the language section and select your language. And also if you want to exit this event, you can simply click on your profile and click on exit to exit this event. Now if you come down here, you will see the public chat section, right, where anyone can uh, chat with each other. Let's see if I want to reply to somebody else's chat. I can simply hover over their message and click on reply and reply to their chat. I can also directly message this person in their private message by clicking on this three dot icon, clicking on direct message and sending the message. On the direct message section as well, I will be able to see the profile of this person by clicking on this profile icon. Now let's say if somebody is abusing during the event and if you want to report that person, you can do that as well. Simply hover over the message that you want to report and click on this three dot icon and click on report and report that message. The event organizers will review those messages and take appropriate actions. All the questions asked during the sessions will be shown in the Q&A section. We will go over it once the event is live. Now coming on to the polls, if you click on this polls icon, you will see all the polls posted by the event organizers. If you want to vote, you can simply click on this button and click on vote icon to vote for this poll. In the meetup format, whenever the session starts, you will be led to the live stage. Let's see how the live session works. Whenever the event organizers start the session, you will get this 10 second timer, which will notify you that the event is about to start. And now the event is live. Once the event is live in the meter format, you will not be able to leave this session and go to the social lounge. But you will be able to use this uh, chats and Q&A sections. On the live stage, you will see the name and logo of the event. You can also view the schedule by clicking on view schedule. You will see the live icon and the timing of the live event. You will see the name of the session, right? You will see how many people are there in this session. You will not be able to see this if it is disabled by the organizer, right? And at the bottom, you will see all the emoji reactions that you can use during the event. You can simply click on it to use these emojis. You can also use the keyword numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 to use this emoticons. Let's say that you have any thoughts or ideas that you want to share on the live stage. In that case, you can simply click on this raise hand button and the session host will either accept or decline that request. If the session host accepts your request and calls you on the stage, then you will be on the stage. From there, you will be able to 
Unmute your mic and camera and share your ideas. You can click on the share screen icon to either share your screen or share the PDF files if you have any. On the stage, you can use this icon out here to share the emojis. If you have any camera or mic issues or if you want to change your virtual background, you can do so by clicking on this button. And once you're done sharing your thoughts and ideas on the screen, you can simply click on this uh, leave the stage icon to leave the stage. You will also be able to go to the live stage if the session host invites you on the stage. If the session host invites you on the stage, you will get this pop-up. You can either accept the invite or reject the invite. If you accept the invite, you will be landing on the live stage with the host as the speaker. And once you are done sharing your thoughts and idea, then the host can remove you from the live stage. Also during the live session, if you have fluctuating bandwidth, you can click on here and select the different modes as per the need of your bandwidth. You can also post your questions when the session is live from the Q&A tab. Simply put in your question and hit send. Now if people have the same question, they can click on this upvote icon to upvote your question. And if somebody wants to comment under this question or write the answer to this question, they can simply click on this comment and comment under your question. Right. So if you want to remove your question, you can simply click on the three dot icon and click on remove question. Now if you want to hide this RHS section, simply click on this collapse icon and it will be collapsed down there. Or if you want to show it, simply click on here. During the live event, if you face any issues, you can simply click on this question mark icon. You can click on 24-7 support lounge and join your support team on this how may I help you tables and they will help you with your queries. You can also have the chat support by clicking on here. Or if you want to browse your help articles, you can do so from here. You can also search them by clicking on this search icon. Once the session ends, you will be led back to the social lounge where you can network with others. That is all for today. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.